and I shared this idea about 20 years ago in BYU Women's Conference. I'd like to just share quickly some, the way I prepare to talk to Heavenly Father when I have got a real burden on my back and when I need more strength to carry that burden. Here are some of the elements. One, I go where I cannot be interrupted. Just like Joseph Smith prepared and planned to go to the Grove so he wouldn't be interrupted. When I was young, younger and had ch little children all around me, I would have to go lock the bedroom door. And sometimes after praying, I would get up and find that they had pushed hot dogs under the door. But, but nevertheless, I had a few moments to myself. <clears throat> Second, kneel down. When we make our body act humbly, our attitude often will follow. If we dress modestly, we act more modest. We feel more modest. Then visualize Heavenly Father. I visualize Him standing in front of me, a little above me, looking down at me and smiling with love. After all, I'm going to be speaking to Him. Next, I pray out loud. Have you found this, sisters, like I have, that... When I pray in my mind, and there are plenty of times to pray in our minds when it's most important to do that, but I often will start off with real intent, and before long, I find myself telling Heavenly Father the price of gasoline and, you know, my next haircut, and then I have to apologize and start over again. So, so pray out loud. Talk out loud. You will hear yourself say things that the Holy Ghost has instructed you to say that will teach you and surprise you. I wish I had time to tell you about one amazing thing I heard myself say that I didn't know. But th after that, <clears throat> then I do something private with Heavenly Father. I testify to Him, just the two of us, like a little meeting of our own of testimony. I testify to Him of what I know about Him. What do you know about Heavenly what would you testify to him if you were going to talk to him? Sometimes I testify and my list is long. Sometimes it's shorter. But I want to say out loud, Heavenly Father, these are the things I know and love about thee. And then I begin to tell him. The Spirit comes. I feel that warmth all around me. Truth spoken brings the Spirit. After that, I just offer what's in my heart, the deep questions, the good and the bad, all mixed together. What should I change about myself? Am I holding back from thee, Heavenly Father? Will, can I give my will to you? We've got to listen after we pray. When we pour out our heart like that, we don't want to just leap up off our knees and walk out of the bedroom. Savor the moment. Let it soak in. He's listening. Now listen to him. <laughs> 